Hey guys, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is yet another Mona Artist Takeover. I'm Marianne, and she is Sharon. And we shall be showing you guys how we created this look. The unique thing about this video is we didn't use a mirror. Like, no mirror at all, we guys. We just created this using math, geometry, imagination, and everything you can think of. So we really hope you enjoy this video. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms that is Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and everywhere else, guys. Please enjoy. We shall both be going in with this primer. It's the I Love Revolution Testy Avocado Primer. And we shall be using that primer skin. Marion is cheating, guys. <laughs> I'm not cheating. This is so funny. First of all, I feel like I don't even have enough product on my face. In this situation, this is going to be more. Anyway, so I am done priming my face and I'll be using this L'Oreal Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream for my base. And I'll Stroke be foundation. using this Kind and Free Tinted Moisturizer as well. We have it at the studio as my face. <laughs> this is perfect for my shade. This is on my perfect foundation shade, so I'm going to just use it for the outer parts of my face and I'll use a brighter concealer for the center part. So we shall go in with our Mona Tools, the foundation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, in all this when <laughs> she's in mirrors, like it's the imaginative work yeah. we used to do in high school where they would sure. tell you, imagine a girl mm -hmm. carrying a pot, literally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, okay. I think at this point I'm done with my yeah. skin. Yeah. I really don't know how it looks like, but I think I'm done. So, like I told you guys, I'll be using a brighter concealer for the center of my face because uh, a tinted water cream I was using is a bit dark for my skin tone. And with that, I'll be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer to brighten up my under eyes as well as the center of my face. Yeah, I'll be using the same, but in the shade. Uh -huh. You know how we are supposed to draw this tree? <laughs> here. Yeah. I'm wondering how it's going to come about, but let's see. Okay. I'm not even sure the concealer is going in the right places, but well. I'll just go in like random parts. I feel like I'm going to put <coughs> everything in as much as I can, as much as I can see it anyway. So I'll be using the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Setting Powder to set all this cream product in. And I'll be using the Huda Beauty Cinnamon Bun to set whatever I've done on my face in. <laughs> and we are using <laughs> our favorite monitors. Okay, so <laughs> we even have to look up meanwhile. Mm -hmm. You know, the one thing I like about this powder is how it smells like. Ooh, it yummy. It smells amazing. Right? Like, Huda wasn't slacking when she made this powder. So I'll be using this Huda Beauty powder in the shade Cinnamon Bun to give a little bit of warmth to my face. And slight contour. I'm not sure I can do proper contour without a mirror, but yeah, I'll figure it out again. And I'll be using this Barry M powder bronzer to contour my skin. Guys, disclaimer, I am really not contouring my skin. I'm just giving warmth. Are we allowed to use mathematics in this? Or like our fingers? <laughs> I think it works without a mirror. Nice. You want to start measuring? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to use what we have. <laughs> yeah. I guess that is it. I think I'm done. I feel like if I touch my face more, <laughs> it will just... It is time to spray our faces. Yes, and shall be using the Elf Dewy Setting Spray. Yeah. We shall be going in with a thick palette to fill our eyebrows. Yeah. Guys, this palette has a mirror, but we are going to try and cover the mm -hmm, mirrors mm -hmm. like Can that. But I have to apply my mathematics, so I'm going to close this and like, let, let, um, let dry my eyebrows and then 
I don't know how I'm going to clean this eyebrow. Let's not have eyebrow on my face. You know, let me just even stop there. <laughs> let me see. <laughs> Mara, let me see. Why are you laughing at me? Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to look at Cheryl again. <laughs> I'm just going to do whatever I'm doing. <laughs> eyebrow. <laughs> like, you're just wondering like where is your eyebrow. <laughs> you guys are going to catch us sleeping. Right? Like, <laughs> And go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to conceal my eyebrow and I'll be using the concealer shade I used to work with my center, my under eyes, my center of the face. So guys, I'm concealing my eyebrow. Okay. <laughs> 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 God have mercy upon this eyebrow. I'm sorry to all eyebrow goddesses. God of eyebrows. Sorry. What I'm doing. I'm going to set my eyelid and my eyebrow bone because I've put cream product onto it. And also, I'm giving it a good base. I'm giving whatever I'm going to do for my eyes a good base. So we shall go back in with our fix palette for our eyes. This is the best nude palette I've ever used. Right? I love it as yeah. well. So <coughs> I'll be going in with this Alec shade. I honestly feel like it's really the best for um, the base. Well, I started off with a dot. A leg is good mm -hmm. for people like Marian skin tone, yeah. and a dot is good for people with my skin tone. Okay, yeah. yeah. I really can't wait to see how my eyebrows look like. <laughs> so I'm done with that base, and I'm still going to go in with a leg, the same shade Marian has been using, mm -hmm. to create a little bit of depth on my eyes. And I'm just going to remain with my shade, just blending and blending so I don't look like a clown. You know? mm. I'm going to put a dot in my center, and I think that's just going to be my look. Like, we, we don't have mirrors. Why should we have so much? Actually, time? guys, me, I will put a kilo in the center. Mm. Let me be a hard chip, hard <laughs> babe, what? I think I look good. So I'll be going in with this tiny under eye brush. And once again, I'm going to use a leg. Guys, I'm playing it safe. I'm really playing it safe. And I'm going to under my eyes. Uh, and I will start with cleaning my under eyes because I'm sure some I've got some eyeshadow follow-ups. I'll also be using a leg to like go over my under eyes mm -hmm. as well. I'll be going in with this Revolution. I love Revolution <laughs> Coconut Mascara. Guys, this is my favorite mascara of all times. Okay. Me, I'm trying to do like a shade of eyeliner, so I'll use Naomi, I mean my Nudes Fix palette, to still do like, like as if eyeliner, but, but not eyeliner. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be using the Fox Effect Mascara to do my mascara or to brush through my lashes. Yes guys, and both these mascaras are available at the studio so you guys can pass by and get your very own. No. <laughs> I swear, I'm losing track of where my lashes go. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like I thought I could do this guys. I don't know my Like when oh. they brought the challenge to us, we both said, it's easy, we can do it. Yeah, we can do it, right? Before you know it, we are struggling. Yeah. So we are now <laughs> going to do blush and highlight, right? Yeah. So we shall both be using this very M blush to give warmth to our faces. I hope today I still have the same one. <laughs> I'm going in with very little blush because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, winging it, literally. Literally. 
I like to put a little bit of the blush as well on my jawline and my forehead. Like sometimes blush can even be used to contour your face. And we'll be using the L'Oreal Glow Mon Amour Illuminating Drops for the highlight. Okay, so this concealer is a bit wet, so you guys should go in with a very light hand, like literally. Guys, we're sorry if we look unpleasant before your faces, yeah. but like we don't have mirrors. Yes. Just a, a reminder. For you. Okay. All is left is our lips, right? Yeah. I'll be using this Revolution Pout Bomb Maxi Plump Lip Gloss to gloss my lips and that is all I'm doing. I'm not sure I can line my lips without a mirror. And I'll be using this Dapper, Dapper by Raj, to line my lips. I have faith that I can line my lips because after what I've done, I, I don't think there's anything else that can save me. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like to over, not overline, but over gloss my lips. So the gloss is going to go a little bit outside my original lip line because I want them to look a little bit bigger. But then also this gloss is very nice because it, mm -hmm. it plumps your lips and make them look bigger. I also like overlining my lips. I hope I've done it well, guys, like fingers crossed. I'll also be going in with this revolution, plumping gloss. Yes, guys, we also have it at the studio. Good helping. I hope, I honestly hope that we have. <laughs> I hope we have done something, guys. Like, I don't know. I think I'll give it a 5 out of 10. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> like, 5 out of 10, any... it is. Guys. But your skin looks really good. Oh. Yeah. So, Sharon's reveal, are you ready? Mm hmm. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we did good. I love Yay. this. <laughs> so guys, this is what we have been able to do without mirrors at yeah. all. Zero mm -hmm. mirrors. Not even cheating, <laughs> not even anyone telling us, yo, you've done this wrongly. Literally, it's just been imaginative work, mm -hmm. mathematics, and all that. And we are impressed. I am yeah, impressed. Marina, are you impressed? Too. Yeah, I really am. Because, you know, I thought we'd do so bad. But we have actually done, like, way better yeah. than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching and staying tuned this far. We love you. Till next time. Bye.